Hello everyone, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. How are you today? So today I have another video for you. Um, today I am working on my quilt um, that I started and I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do all the things that I do, some type of order to it because I have a cross stitch. I have the crochet throw, I have the sock knitting, and I have the quilt that um, I'm currently making all those things. So what I decided to do this week, and it may change next month, is take a week to work on the quilt, a week to work on the cross stitch and try to finish that as much as possible, each, each um, project as much as possible. How are you today? And let me know in the comments uh, where you are viewing this video from. Please let me know. I would love to know. I'm in the DMV area. It is a little cool out today. I just heard on the radio that it will possibly go up to 80 degrees today. So I guess that's fine. Um, so I want to start some incorporate some walking for exercise again. Uh, I think I'm going to hook up with one of my daughters because she goes out and I think I'm going to hook up with her and that'd be fun. We chat, do some walking and some running and then come back and do um, the crafts that I do. Um, one thing I notice is that because when you craft these type of crafts that I just mentioned is that you sit a lot. You sit a lot and you sit for long hours. And so it's good to get up if you're not going to go outside to get any uh, fresh air and exercise. It's good to get up like every 15 minutes and uh, do something around the house. Start the dinner, put it on low, clean the bathtub, uh, vacuum the floor or something. Just to get up and to move because... Uh, sitting in one spot too long is not good. And you know that our bodies like to move. They they love moving. So I just started yesterday. Let me know in the comments what you're working on. Let me know in the comments where you're viewing the video. from. So I'm doing seven across. I'm at the point of connecting. I'm so happy about that. Oh, getting it done. So... We're just going to go ahead and sew and chat. And while I'm doing this, and, you know, look up every now and then from your project and uh, see what I'm doing over here. So let's go. I'm not going to mute the sound of sewing because the purpose of the video is to hear the sound of sewing and see the craft of sewing a quilt top together. So that's what we do. I had someone come over yesterday who visited, and I have a few of my uh, crochet granny, granny squares um, on the blocking mats in the dining room on the table, and she saw it, and she was like, oh my God, <coughs> that is so pretty. How much are you selling that for? It's like, I don't know. I'll let you know tomorrow, Thursday. So sometimes I use this to, if I get to a um, a fold, and it just lay the fold down. Now I squared up all of these when I finished. I squared them up using this two. I squared them up in eleven by eleven. So what's the problem, you ask? The problem is, what's the issue? The little issue that I'm having is that, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm doing seven across, so I have to add one more. I have my pile here. We'll see how many we can get through. And I only have a week to work on this this particular week. We won't be coming back to this um, if I don't change my mind on it. We won't be coming back to this until, let's see, next week is crossed it. And then the following week is working on my sock knitting. 
and um, then we'll be back to this. So I need to get it in. And I think my mom is going to come today. I invited her to come over for a few days to spend with me. And uh, <clears throat> she's 83. So I decided that we'll have um, meatloaf for dinner with cabbage and maybe a baked sweet potato. So she'll like that. So I'm going to give her a call after the video is over and see if she wants me to come pick her up. She's talking about, I know how to get over there, ma'am. No, 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 ma'am. No, ma'am. I'll come and get you. I don't have a problem. <laughs> well, this funny, y'all. She got jokes. I just dropped a pin. All right, but I have some pins here. I'm using this to keep my pins on. I will have to get that pin off. So yeah, so she's coming over today, so that will be fun. I'm thinking about taking her to the bot botanical garden tomorrow. I'm thinking we'll get up and go there tomorrow. That'll be really nice. She'll like that. Get out early, get some crisp air, a little walking exercise for her and for me. So I'm thinking that'll be nice. I'm working on a PQ 1500SL. Love it. Over there, I have my singer. I use that for, you know, my zigzag stitches and a straight stitch and back stitch, too, of course. But that's mainly what I use it for. Okay. I should have bought some water for my cup. All right, so we have one strip and seven across. One, and I'm just picking them up, long as it's not the same two colors. So right sides together, and I'm doing a scant quarter inch. I'm doing a scant quarter inch. Doing, I was working on my crochet uh, throw for myself for my own home, but when people see the items, they're like, "How much you selling that for?" All right, let's get a business going here. So I told her I would let her know tomorrow. And what I was thinking to do, let me know if you guys do this too. Um, when you're making a project jack and you sell some of your items, because I do. Um, how many quilts can I have in my home? As many as I like. Thank you. <laughs> but um, I will sell them uh, if someone's interested, because I can always make another one and hide it from people so they don't ask for it. Um, yeah. What was I saying? I lost my train of thought. See what I'm saying? Now, these are all 11 by 11. I don't know if you can see that. See how it's still not even? See that? Now I have to cut it again and even it up. I'm done. Let me turn it another way. Because I know, I know that I spent time with each square. Cutting it precisely 11 by 11 all the way around. So what I've done here is I just turned it another way. And I still maybe I didn't do this one. I didn't. This one is not it's not been cut. No problem. I don't know how I missed that. But I did. So I'm gonna use this one and this one for the next row. Put these right sides together. So this is just a sewing video. Okay, here we go. Because I'm like, I'm not even going to pin. Let's see how good I am. <laughs> Let's see how good I am, girls and guys. 
That's so fast, ma'am. Pull that down there. Pass that. And let's get on down here to the end of the yellow brick road. Now, Even that end up. Also, I see um, the way I'm going to quilt it is stitching in a ditch or close to meaning where the seam is. I'll go like a quarter inch or maybe an inch over. So let's add the next square. Here's our next star. Let's see if we can get the thumbnail here. More ting. All right, so put this on here. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I think, well, I'm going to get my mom, so I will have an opportunity to go outside today. Get a bit of that fresh air. It's good for the nostrils, the body. So are you guys like that? When you're crafting uh, for long periods of time, do you get up and um, go outside or do something else for a few minutes? I want a scant quarter of an inch. And I do so without my slippers on or shoes. I just can't do it. I don't want to do it like that. Just lift this. Lift the lever, put it back down. Hold my pin on there. Okay. Let's hold the corner edge here and go down the middle of this way. I can do this today, finish all seven rows. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to work on is my backing. And I'm going to use, this is our next color we're going to add. Um, I think I'm going to do the backing next. Let's say I finish this today or tomorrow. And then I'll lay it down, see how large it is, take the uh, fabric for the backing that I have, which is some scrap fabric, and I'll sew all of that together and see if it fits with a, I guess, an inch, inch and a half hangover, because that's what's required, yes. So I'll um, do that. All right. Let's get on down the road here. Let's move on down the road here. I had my coffee already this morning. I've been outside already this morning. Hold that fold down there. Little one here. We got it, you guys. We got it. I need a new chair. I need two new chairs. I need a new chair for sewing desperately because I'm I'm about sick of this chair here. I am about sick of this chair here. And I need a new chair for my computer desk. Look at this one. I love this one. This one is pretty. Let's add that. Turn it here. Line it up together. Put a few pins in. Just so we're close to even as possible. And I don't have to... Um, Square this up again because I really don't want to do that. Because I have so many things that I'm doing. I don't want to have to 
do that. That was my purpose for doing it after I made each one. So I'll put my uh, backing fabric together. I purchased the polyester batting. I'm going to use that. I like that. It's like a little fluffy, right? And I have used the... Um, the warm and natural. I've used all those before. The bamboo. I've used all those. I like them all. And I think my favorite for me is the polyester batting in between the layers for the quilt. I'm supposed to take that particular quilt out because I thought it didn't break my needle. I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to have to um, wind some bobbles too. And not too long from now. I had a thought this morning when I was um, putting my granny squares on the blocking mats because I've been doing four a day, wetting them nicely and then pinning them to the blocking mat because it'll be so much easier <laughs> when I'm connecting them all together. Because I think that's going to be a throw. That's what the young lady wants to hurt. Here's our next one. I'm going to add that. That's green. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's go through here. And let's do this one. I'm going to add that. No particular order, however, I don't want the same colors touching. That makes sense. I had a thought this morning of making a crochet vest, crocheting me a vest or a sweater. I'm thinking about that. I haven't purchased any new yarns in a long time. The yarns that I have, I've had them. And I'm trying to use them up so I can make a purchase for new yarn. Um, it's been quite a while since I've made a uh, purchase for new yarn. Because I've been purchasing um is that a little bit long. Hold on. Two 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 corner to corner. I have to pin it. Bring it in a little bit, and then I'm going to pin, which will probably give me a little pleat. I'm gonna pin real good because in here too. Let's put a pin here, guys. I'm hungry. I'm a little bit famished. I only had. A piece of pumpkin loaf. I made a pumpkin loaf for the first time. It's delicious. I didn't know I liked pumpkin. <laughs> Believe it or not, I had my first pumpkin product last month. It was a pumpkin donut. And it was absolutely amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, it's not bad. So I'm a new lover of pumpkin. I made that pumpkin loaf. Down here, you all see. Yeah, you can see a little bit. You can see. Get this pin out. Let's take out my bobbins, cause I'm gonna have to uh, thread my bobbins. Oh, I got one. Ah, oh, how cute! I got one. One full one. All right, let's take that out. Take out our pins. Let's see. And of course, I'm going to start these so they're nice and flat. So let's get another one here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I love the ones with the black. And there wasn't much black fabric um, 
in that, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Be in my body, Lori Holt. Yeah. It wasn't a lot of black, but I think that this is so pretty. I love the way it stands, sits up against the white. Really nice. So let's even this up. Let's do our best here. We don't have to do a lot of cutting, evening up our square. So I need some breakfast before I go meet my mom so I can have some energy, a little energy. I don't eat a lot for breakfast, if I even eat breakfast at all. I got the window open here and that air feels amazing. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a like. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, please. Please, ma'am. Please, sir. Thank you very much. We want to grow our community here, our crafty community. And like I said, I'm doing a scant quarter in. I like because it comes off any kind of way when I go to square up or line up, whichever phrase you want to use, I have that space. All right. Let's count. Let's see if we got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's count one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we got our second row of our quilt top done. All right. All right, girls. All right, girls. We are moving. So here's our next one. We're going to put that with this one. Nice and scrappy. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. The colors are really nice. All right. Can you tell me how many times you've been pricked by needles and pins while sewing? <sighs> I hope the sound is coming across good. I am uh, thinking about a microphone. So one of the ladies that I watch, she has, I think... Fran has a couple of, her name's Fran. I think she has a couple of microphones, but I'm looking for something I can connect to my shirt. And I guess it would be something like a Bluetooth one there. Yeah. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of video. This style of video. flat that pin out so we break our needle open up this corner down this yellow brick road here what's for breakfast I don't know an egg sandwich maybe something like someone gave me a Starbucks card as a gift, ooh, probably three, four months ago. I'm not a person that goes to Starbucks, um, so I still have it. I just did check the balance on it recently. Huh. All right, so here we have 
our next color. This is also nice. I like that brown. I'm gonna line that up here. What are you working on? You gonna let me know in the comments? Are you sewing? You quilting? You're making a project bag? Listen, I want to get this done so fast, you guys. I want to make a project bag. I think I want to make two or three. Also, I'm looking to make, I'm looking for a pattern for a trifold, um, a trifold type of bag where you can put receipts in for the year, like you have 12 folds and you're able to keep receipts in there for the months. Um, if you have any ideas or a link to a tutorial or something, please let me know in the comments because I do want to make that for someone who's able to um, keep everything in one place for the year which is better for tax purposes instead of the uh, smaller type bag that she has. So that's an idea that I have as well. You know posture is important in sewing and posture is important in uh, sit-down crafts like knitting and crochet. I do try to keep that in mind and not have a big slump. Um, that affects your health as well. So let us be mindful of that, ladies and gentlemen. Our posture. Okay, we have three. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's do this one. Our teacups. And it's early too. It's 8.45. So I've been doing this. Well, I've been on uh, here 27 minutes. So I've got two rows in 27 minutes. So I think I'm doing pretty good. What say you? What say you, and I'm a little warm too. I got the air on 74 with the window cracked open here and they say it was gonna be 80 degrees today. So this window gotta be closed and um, turn on the ceiling fan. I was hoping that I would not have to turn on the air in October, close to November. However, I'm still using the air. Are you still using your air? Crazy. Oh. Now, you see that? Let's turn it another way. So we can get it to even up a bit more if we turn it another way. Let's see. Two, two, two. Turn it this way. Hopefully it lines up better. Because like I said, these are all 11 by 11. So it's queen size for sure. It is queen size. Okay. I hope um, you all will communicate with me in the comments. It is my pleasure today to come to you with a sewing video, let you know where I am on my project and what I have in mind for other things. So I am happy to be here this morning. I thought I'd do the video early. I said, oh, well, let me get on early this morning and do this. That way I have the rest of the day and I don't have to worry about me not getting my video out. I think I'm doing pretty good. So let's keep going. Do 
I do enjoy a good sub day. Let me know if you enjoy a good sub day. Okay. Okay, what's next? Let's put this one on. So next square, we're going to add that right sides together. Always right sides together. No matter what you're doing. Sleeves, hems, right sides together. Right? This looks pretty good as far as the evening up portion. Okay. All right. I think when I get off the video, I'm going to go and have a little breakfast. Call mother. Let's see if she's awake. Or maybe I should wait till about 9 30. Give her a chance get up and get her coffee and her breakfast and she'll be ready to chat can talk to ah! moms can go she's a sweet lady prayerful woman yeah. oh, that's a blessing All right. So how many we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one more. Add on that. And that's our third row. And we got seven uh, total. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, more crafting videos. I also enjoy planting. Um, I'm not going to give up on uh, house planting. I'm going to continue to move forward in that because I do love flowers. Um, I'm looking for, speaking of planting, if you have an idea of a plant that I can put in the window to grow, I want to put it on my kitchen table as a centerpiece. What would grow good uh, that's really nice that I can put on the kitchen table as a fall centerpiece, you know, plant? Um, I'm looking for something to grow. I have some soil and uh, I'm looking for a plant. I may have to go to Walmart and get a starter, but that's not what I want to do. I like to see it grow up from the seed, you know bloom out. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun with me. Um, I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next video. Bye.